Welcome to Exploring Nature with Children. I'm Samantha from Twinkle and we're doing Moon Week this week. There are so many different areas of the moon you can look at and study. We've got some brilliant activities and ideas for you to try at home. So keep watching to find out more. It's just starting to get a bit darker where we are now, so we might be able to see the moon in the sky soon. Sometimes you can see the moon during the day and sometimes you can see it at night. And the reason we can see the moon is because it reflects sunlight. It doesn't emit its own light, it just reflects sunlight and that's how we see it. Reflection is a really big word and it's part of our first discussion question. Objects can reflect light, but reflection is also often used when you think about thoughts. People can reflect on things. So our first big discussion question is how do you reflect on things? If you look at the moon over a series of days or over a few weeks, you'll notice that reflection you're looking at changes. It waxes getting brighter and wanes getting darker. And this is due to the moon rotating around the earth. So it goes through a cycle or phases and it keeps going around and around this pattern. For our second discussion question, can you think of anything else in nature that goes through a cycle or phases continually going round in the same or similar pattern? Out and about on maybe a nighttime or evening walk or maybe at home looking out the window, I've got a three, two, one moon challenge for you. So can you find three things that reflect. You might want to go outside in the evening with a torch and see if you can find three reflective objects or you might like to do this at home around your house in the dark. But think about how the objects are reflecting light. Which ones reflect them more or less? Just like the moon reflects sunlight. Did you count the moon as one of your reflective objects? Now, you might need to do this one over a few days or maybe at the start and the end of the week because can you spot two different phases of the moon? Can you find it at the start of a week and see and draw what it looks like and then do it at the end of the week and compare it? You might like to use this Twinkle Moon Diary and then you could keep going with your observations to see if you can see all the different phases of the moon. Finally, can you spot one crater on the moon? If you're outside at night or looking out through your windows, you can try using a pair of binoculars to look at the moon even closer. Or we've got this handy twinkle sheets with photographs of craters and even a map with the names of craters on the moon you might like to use. Or there's even the Twinkle AR app where you can get a whole moon to look at. Now we've looked at craters, let's find out how they form doing some fun investigations and other craft activities. Craters are a really easy, fun activity that you can investigate at home. And Twinkle's Crater Investigation Pack will also help. You'll need flour, a tray, some measuring devices and something to drop. Start by filling your tray with flour. You might also want to put some newspaper down around your tray to avoid any extra mess. Once you've done this, give your tray a good shake in order to smooth out the surface. You can then drop objects from different heights and look at the impact craters they make, or even try different objects to see how they form craters. You could make this into a more formal investigation by just changing one thing and then measuring the length of the craters to work out an average. Our second craft activity is making a moon collage, where we stuck different things onto a piece of round cardboard and then put some tin foil over the top to make a 3D moon effect with craters. You can then use a torch and play with shadow to see if you can even create some of the phases of the moon. A further investigation into phases of the moon is making a twinkle spinner. This is really easy to make and shows some of the different phases of the moon. Another fun way to look at the phases of the moon in the cycle is using cookies, which is obviously a very tasty treat too. And finally, you could try making your own fortune teller using the phases of the moon as you go around and then with different messages under each one for what kind of phase you have to draw. 
Thank you so much for joining us this week as we have explored the moon and had an absolutely brilliant time. You'll find even more activities and ideas in Rachel's Harvest Moon video, which covers nocturnal animals as well. Or otherwise, there's some other videos on our YouTube channel you might like too, so don't forget to check those out. And we'll see you again soon for more nature fun.